Hey everyone and welcome back to my Wii soft modding series. In this video we're going to talk about Wii Flow and how to play Wii games off of your USB drive. Now let me start off by saying I am not condoning piracy by any regard. You should own any game you download and you should also own any game that you rip from CD. So what I'm going to go over in this video is how to uh, one rip a game from its disc so that you can play it off of your Wii hard drive if you lose the game or if you if it scratches something like that and also um, if it it can't be ripped which some people uh, have that problem for instance if the disc is damaged enough that you can't rip it or if your Wii refuses to rip it for whatever reason then I'll show you how to download one uh, from the Wii so site which is a website that that uh, where people upload rips of their games um, once again, you should own the game you are ripping and or downloading. I'm not condoning piracy. Don't do it. Don't do it. It does not have good consequences. Anyways, uh, for this tutorial, you will need your Wii already pre-modded. If you don't have a modded Wii, then go to my previous tutorial in this series. I have included the link below. You will need the SD card from your Wii that you used to mod it in the previous tutorial because that's going to have Wii Flow on it. You will need a computer, you will need an internet connection, and you will need an external hard drive in order to hold your games on. This can be a pocket drive, a huge external, it can be any size. It can be a USB drive for all we know. Um, I mean, it just depends on how many games you want to put on it and what size games. Some Wii games are small, they're like 200 megabytes, some are big, you know, 4 gigabytes, even up to 8 gig gigabytes. So um, just keep in mind you're going to need a uh, reasonably sized drive for the amount of games you want to have or rip. So as we move on, let's go to my computer. Okay, go ahead and plug in your USB that you're going to use to put your games on and also plug in your SD card from your Wii. Now in my last video I provided you with a mod pack and in it was a version of a Wii Flow that actually does not work. I am sorry about that but that version is broken. Uh, there's many bugs with it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and provide you with a fixed version of Wii Flow. Uh, in the description you can go ahead and download it. Uh, my gift to you I suppose and basically just open up that zip that I provide you and then go into your SD card and go into apps Wii Flow, and then transfer this boot.dol into there and overwrite the one that's already there because that one is broken if you see a settings file in here if basically if you see any file other than these three meta icon and boot.dol delete it because that means you might have accidentally started up Wii Flow already and that means it created a fake settings file that uh, is broken and also go into your SD card, go into the root of your SD card and delete any folder that's called Wii Flow because that is also a configuration folder and it is also broken. So if you see a Wii Flow folder in this uh, basic directory, delete it. Thank you. So now you have a working version of Wii Flow. You're probably wondering, uh, let's get some games. So if you have games already downloaded, uh, you just put them on your hard drive. So you need an NTS, uh, NTFS hard drive. So if it's not formatted in file system NTFS, then you need to do that. So either use the Windows format um, tool or use a format tool from a different operating system, depending on what you have. So file system NTFS and allocation unit size 4096. And just click start. I don't need to do that because mine's already in NTFS. So now for our games to be read from our uh, off of this hard drive on our Wii our games need to be in a format known as WBFS and it looks like this 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 Super Paper Mario uh, rip is in WBFS format and it basically uh, has a full has a file like this inside of it now we need to put this Super Mario Super Paper Mario folder on our hard drive so First, make a folder called WBFS and put all of the games that you have in that folder. So we're going to go ahead and put our Super Paper Mario on our hard drive in the WBFS folder. 
Now, Super Paper Mario is only 400 megabytes, but most games are about 4 gigabytes, give or take. Some games are uh, higher. They're about 8, dual layer. Like, uh, you know, Super Smash Brothers Brawl. That is an 8 gigabyte game. And for some reason, this is taking forever. I don't know why. It should be done already. I'm using a, uh, a low-speed 4-gigabyte um, USB stick, so unfortunately, uh, it's not very fast at transferring. All right, well, that's going. I'm going to go ahead and show you where you can get these games from because you probably don't have this game just on hand anywhere. Now, there's two ways you can get a game to play on your Wii. Now, like I've said before, you need to have already you need to own a game before you do this. Otherwise, it's considered piracy, and I am not legally allowed to condone piracy. Nor do I personally condone pi pi yeah, piracy. So, the way you can get this is you can either rip the game from disc. So, if you own the game, you can load up Wii Flow and you can rip it from the disc. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. Or you can download the game. Now, I have one source that I go to uh, to download games, which is Wii so.com w i i s o.com make an account there and then on the forums go to we scrubbed game downloads because if you do the normal game downloads you get the iso versions that's if you want to burn a game and we're not going to do that because that's lame there's no point in doing that so for re we scrubbed games go to ntsu or whatever your um your region is and then find uh one of these topics that have like massive amounts of games we're gonna use Wii Dudes Wii Games because he has mega upload links and mega upload links are the best ones they're the fastest in my opinion and then find the game you want to download for instance let's say we wanted to download uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword okay so click on that game and it'll take you to a topic where there's a bunch of links and they look like this now we want the mega upload links. Those are the best ones. In my in my personal experience, mega upload has been the fastest ones, and they also don't ask for captchas. So copy all of the links. And in order to in order to download all of these links fast without actually having to click on each one and download them in our browser, we want a uh, a JavaScript downloader um, program. So in this case, we're going to use JDownloader. I provided a link in the description to JDownloader. Um, let me go ahead and delete these. And it looks like this, this program right here, JDownloader. And basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to provide a list of links, and it downloads all of them for you. It looks like these mega upload links may be broken. So for this particular tutorial, I will try the FileSonic links. And you just copy them, and JDownloader automatically detects that you've copied them to your clipboard, and it checks whether the links are active. And it, so, it says right now they are active; they're online. And now just click the play button to uh, start all, start downloading all of them, or you can right-click and do continue with all. So it'll download all the links for you, and uh, if it's in a if it's in a zip file, it'll extract them for you. In this case, they are, and then you just uh, copy the game to your external hard drive into this folder with all your other games so I'm not gonna download this because I already have Skyward Sword so let me go ahead and stop that download by deleting it and close JDownloader and close we ISO okay so now we've got Super Paper Mario or whatever game you have on our hard drive and our hard drive is an NTFS format with WBFS file system so now I bet you're wanting to go and play this game on Wii Flow on your Wii so let's move over to the Wii and I'll show you what to configure and how to play your game off of your Wii alright so plug your SD card and your USB external into your Wii for the USB external if you're looking at your Wii from the the back of it um, plug it into the uh, USB slot on the right so the second one on the right um, the one closest to the wall of the U of the uh, Wii so go ahead and start up Wii Flow it'll take about eight seconds or however and uh, if you did everything right the game you put on your USB drive should show up right here 
Uh, mine was Super Mar uh, Paper Mario, so yes, mine did show up. And um, it's going to show up without a, uh, without a uh, cover because you haven't downloaded uh, the necessary cover art. So before you download any cover art, we need to uh, turn on a certain setting to make sure it doesn't freeze whenever you try to download the cover art. Go over to the seventh tab and turn on initiate network on boot. Turn that on, okay. And oh, another setting you can turn on is um, right. I think it's uh, where is it? Oh, here it is. Exit two. Change exit two to HBC. That way, whenever we exit a USB loader or we, we flow it will exit to our homebrew channel instead of the Wii menu because the Wii menu is boring and no one really cares about that alright so let's press the home button down here and it'll return us to the homebrew channel and start up Wii flow again and this time it will initiate network on boot that way whenever we download our cover it will work alright so in order to download a cover for one game you just let me just turn my controller on. Alright, you just press A on the game, and whenever it uh, pulls up the game, you go to the settings button, and you click um, over here, and right here, you click download. Now, I'm not going to do it right now because my Wii is not connected to the internet. If your Wii is not connected to the internet, you can't download covers, obviously. Don't even try, it will freeze your Wii. Um, I've done it myself, and it just freezes. That's all it does. So. I'm not going to download them right now, but that's what you would click to download your cover. And it would just uh, take about a minute to download it from this website where they host all the covers for each game. And then uh, it'll show your Super Paper Mario with bright and pretty cover art. And if you have a bunch of games and all of them don't have cover art, you can go down here to settings and then download covers and titles and click all. Or if some of them have cover art and... Uh, the, and um, some of them don't, you can just download the ones that are missing. So uh, keep that in mind. And now if you press A on it and you click play, it will play that game and it will boot it up. Now for the sake of uh, not having to have rights to show the game on screen, I'm going to go ahead and exit out of it. Oh, come on. Stupid home button. All right, so I've demonstrated that you can, what the, there we go, that you can use your Wii Flow to play a game off of your USB as long as it's in WBFS file format, and uh, Wii Flow should be working for you. If you're having any problems with it, just comment below. In fact, how about this? If you have any questions as to um, the this tutorial and the tutorial before this one on Wii soft modding or playing games off a of USB or um, finding games and stuff like that a anything in that general category uh, post your questions below and in a couple of days probably Wednesday or Thursday I will release a video where I answer all of the questions that have been posted as a comment to this video I'll just go down the line and read them out and then uh, answer each of them you know uh, in a row so, just post a comment below and I'll get your question answered. Anyways, I'm Zalgeist and I'm signing off. Cheers.